What's up, guys? Carl Carell back with another Music Gear Monday. We took a little hiatus, went on some trips, went to New York, went to Cali, bopped around, did some fun things. Um, the last thing I left you with was Pioneer DJS 1000 video. We did a three-part video just talking about what it is, what it does, how I'm implementing it into my set. If you want more of that, check out the link in the description below. Today, we're hopping in. We got kind of a bombshell while we were gone there. Serato dropped their beta version of Serato 3.0, and they're introducing a feature called Stems, which allows you to actually manipulate the song and different parts of those songs, like your vocal or the bass or the instrument or just the drums uh, in with the touch of a button. So very cool feature to add. Uh, there's a couple other features that they did add into that uh, it is the beta version, so it's not fully released yet, but you can download it on their website if you want to test it out. Uh, they recommend not using it if you're using it in a club setting. If you're playing out, you probably don't want to be on it yet because it's not the full release. Uh, but we're going to hop into it. We're just going to take a quick look at it, what it does. Serato 3.0 beta. Let's hop into it. When you load it up, Serato DJ Pro Beta, it's going to pull up a warning, potentially unstable, it's saying, do not use in a performance or live scenario, which is true. This is a beta version. You don't want to be using this out in the real world unless you're prepared to uh, deal with, you know, something crashing or anything could happen. So just keep that in mind. They do warn you here. It is a beta for you to, you know, just kind of test out and have some fun. When you open up Serato DJ Pro 3.0, it's going to look just like your normal serato looks you have your crates you have your library you know prepared browse what what have you up here on the left there is a little bit of a change so you can click this little button here this is your stems button so when you click that button it's going to allow you to isolate things and i will show you that let's just go ahead and grab for purposes of not getting taken down let's grab beat that's that's not published yet let me add a cue right under your little cues window you have this stems window here and i'll load one in each side and with the stems window here you have vocal melody bass and drums and so these are all turned on right now so they're blue when i play the track you can hear everything playing in the track when i play that track but one of the great things about stems is i can isolate things so now i'm isolating the bass Maybe I just want the bass and the drums. So there is a melody that comes in. You can hear that melody playing now. There's also a vocal. I could try to isolate just the melody and the vocal. So that's just the melody. That's just the melody and the vocal. Let's jam to the DJ on the radio. Oh, 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 oh. I can echo out. I can echo out that vocal, which is a cool effect while you're on the fly. To the DJ on the radio. bring other instruments back in the drums so there we go and under each you have an effect that could bring in and out Could bring in and out each effect there when they're turned on, which is really, really cool. 
It's going to get interesting to see where people take this. You have these two buttons in the top corner, which isolate just the vocal or just the instrument that you can get into no matter what you're in. So if, even if you're in this cues window or if you're in your loops window, you can easily go and just isolate either the vocal or the, the music itself. The other thing is your pad mode. There's a list of compatible devices compatible hardware that works with stems inside of the little clip that i just made but in order to enable that what you need to do you need to hop into your preferences the little gear wheel over here and just below under dj preferences you have this replace pad mode with stems you want to check that on and select what mode you want to replace with that stems mode so if you don't use you know the loop roll as much replace that that comes up as default but maybe you don't use the sampler maybe you don't use the slicer whatever you use the least is probably what you want to place with that pad mode and then when you're using it when you click on it so when i click on roll now i have this mode that i can tap into uh, i don't know if you could see this but these buttons now are programmed to turn off and on and also do the effects inside of this stems mode. So whenever I go to roll, now it is enabled for my stems mode. This is the S11, also works on the S9. There's a lot of other Pioneer gear, rain gear. It's available and compatible with a bunch of other controllers. If we go on their website, and I'll actually put this link in the description below if some of you guys want to try out beta version. Again, it's a beta version. You could try it out. I don't recommend you trying it out if you DJ specifically with Serato and you're playing gigs like on a constant on that machine, you probably don't want to load this beta version onto that machine if you have a gig tomorrow or something like that. If you have a backup machine, you know, a backup machine that you use for production or things like that that you want to try this out on and have some fun, I recommend doing that and maybe sharing some of that feedback with Serato. They they have a great customer support team and I'm sure they would love uh, some of that feedback. So yeah, if we go into Serato's website, you can see some of the new features, Serato stems, real time, drop your music in and, you know, isolate individual parts of the songs. The dynamic waveforms, you could see when you're changing in between each one. So if, if I'm just doing the bass, I can see, you know, this waveform shows me that that's just the bass. This waveform shows me that's the melody. This waveform shows me that's the drums and so on and so forth with the vocals and different things like that. So the color waveforms kind of help you see where the parts of those songs are at, you know, where your vocals at, where your drums at, different things like that. That's a cool feature to have on there, especially when you're going on the fly, get familiar with, you know, your, your songs. Yeah. And then your stems performance pad moan. It says it's available on the following devices. Here's some other changes, you know, the decoding and refractor, MP3, AIF, Wave, uh, just giving you a better experience, you know, loading your tracks and moving tracks and different things like that. You know, bug fixes and different things like that are going to be in here. And then you have your known issues, uh, which are should be coming in as people are using it. You'll, you'll get updates inside of this. This is uh, Serato's forum. So you're going to be able to see a bunch of different updates as people are using this. One thing I did want to touch on was that I did a video about Neuromix Pro, which allows you to isolate acapella bass drums different things like that i'll put a link in the description below for that video um, this program is still out this same program allows you to do the same drums bass harmonics vocals um to me my personal opinion that it doesn't sound as good but also you know it really depends on the song like i said um all of these programs run a little bit differently and so Yeah, I mean, I, f I feel like this program was a great go-to just to grab specific things just for sounds. And, you know, if you want to sample something real quick or anything like that or try to make an edit, whatever, it just eliminates having to go into something like Pro Tools or, you know, Ableton and do a ton of work. 
it's cheap. You can own it. But there again, like I said, sound quality. You do get some artifacts when you're using these programs. Serato, like I said, sounds to me personally a lot better as far as the audio quality goes, carving out some of those you know, vocals or different things like that. But that's something you're definitely going to have to hop in and try out depending on the style of music or the records that you're using. So keep that in mind when you're trying this stuff out. So yeah, pretty simple stuff. Stems just kind of allowing you to isolate uh, in real time as you play out live. It's going to be a fun tool. I'm interested to see how people are going to go crazy with some of this stuff and how creative people are going to get with it. I can see so much being done with this, so I'm, I'm interested to see where it's going to go. <laughs> what do you think about Serato Stems? Is it something you're going to be playing around with? Do you believe the hype? It's going to be out soon publicly, so put some comments below let me know what you think we'll be back here next week with another music gear monday i'm carl Correll. peace shout out to our sponsors today crate connect digital record pool providing tons of new music new releases hundreds of different genres and chart topping hits everything and anything instrumentals acapellas latin moonbatone techno dance hall even country music so if you're a dj and you want to spruce up your music library this is a great tool to utilize the price is just right with different options from 30 days 90 days and 180 days with high resolution audio this is a great option for anybody wanting to expand their dj library they even have a clothing shop this one's my favorite make sure to hop on over check out crate connect i will be putting a link in the description below which will include a discounted price so make sure to hop on that while it lasts